right guys, we are at the next project here and I'm very excited to be doing this project. It's, uh, it's a unique one. Our friends at WRC uh, from Pakenham have us in here doing this project here today. And what we're doing is two lifts of asphalt, commercial grade asphalt is 19 mil asphalt. It's my first time ever putting 19 mil through that mold. And so I'm interested to see how the mat's gonna come out on the paver. So we're kind of experimentally kind of interesting to see how that's gonna lay out. Um, but the cool thing about this project is kind of where we're working. Where we're working here is at, a, at what's called a grain silo. And what kind of grain it is, I don't know, but I do know it's called a grain silo, which is just kind of cool and unique. And I'll show you here what I mean is, we are working beside these massive silos. And I guess what happens is, tractor trailers pull underneath um, this area here. And I believe they get loaded from those compartments right there. So we are paving a road through here. It's uh, I think 200 feet long, it might be 300 to forget. Uh, it's 14 and a half feet wide um, and we're gonna do two lifts of 50 mil each lift which is two inches of 19 mil asphalt so basically what that works out to is it's 30 ton each lift so basically we have those trucks right now I have 16 and 16 in each triaxle um, so we're gonna put down 30 ton compact it and then send back for more asphalt and put down another 30 ton so it'll be 60 ton total four inches of asphalt two different lifts working here at a grain silo Let's get into it. I'm super excited, guys. Let's jump in the video. Let's have fun. Let's lay this down. Let's freaking go. Woo! Now back to your regularly scheduled program.
Guys, there we go. Caber's warmed up. I'm filling it up right now. So, first lift is down, guys. We have the first uh, 50 mil lift down right now. We have tack on it, so we sealed it. We have tack on top here, so there's colis down or tack, whatever you want to call it. But we had the glue down. So, from our first lift to our second lift, we have something to tack the two together. And uh, now we're ready to put down the next lift. It is, uh, times it here, 339. Guys are back with asphalt now and we're gonna run this out. So here we go, second lift time. I was walking down the street when out the corner of my eye I saw a pretty little thing approaching me. She said, I never seen a man who looks so all alone or could you use a little company? If you pay the right price, your evening will be nice and you can go and send me on my way. I said, you're such a sweet young thing, why you do this to yourself? She looked at me and this is what she said, oh, there ain't no rest for the wicked. Money don't grow on trees. I got bills to pay, I got mouths to feed. There ain't nothing in this world for free. Guys, the float's loaded up there. The boys are pulling out here. I think we have a drone somewhere in the air there. But uh, that's it, guys. This shot was a wrap. It's all done here. This is a very fun product to do. It was tricky to do, and funny enough, we I don't think we got it on camera actually, but we did run out of asphalt on this project. Uh, reason being was the first lift was a little bit deceiving. Um, the grade was a little bit off, and I'll show you guys kind of why. Not the fault of the guys that prepped it, but see here, that's actually solid solid rock all there and the whole property is full of rock you can kind of see it there too that gray stuff's not concrete it's actually solid rock everywhere here you can see it back there it's all rock so basically when we put this in there was only a couple inches of gravel on top of the rock and the rock is also where the water table is too so the gravel is very wet and spongy and it was hard to grade so when we put the first lift on uh it wasn't a super accurate um first layer so some spots probably thicker and thinner than others uh which is just due to the grade that we had to work with so we actually had some extra asphalt on the first lift so i thought in the second one order the same amount would be fine of course we ran it we were at four tons shy they did add this part which did eat up a little bit of extra asphalt this was not supposed to be part of the project originally i guess this thing here that's on wheels uh swings over this area but uh, nonetheless it's all good we uh went and picked up some more asphalt we got it in so at least the plant was still open by the time we actually figured out that we needed some more but that's it guys, this project's done. It's a wrap, this was a fun one to go do. We put also shouldering here, I'll show you along the side. We put this gravel along the side here as a shouldering. So just kind of finish it off better. So, but uh, anyways, to recap, this was uh, 90 mil asphalt. We put uh, two, uh, two inch lifts. So there's a total uh, of uh, 50 mil and 50 mil. So we have 100 mils of asphalt. And uh, so it's four inches total thickness. And it's very heavy duty commercial grade because there's gonna be a course underneath this silo here, some very heavy trucks. But this was very fun to, uh, to do uh, this project, guys. Of course, being a paver, we're used to getting loaded our trucks under silos, but not paving under silos. So a very cool project, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you to WRC for having us on this project. Thanks, Jeff and Blake. Appreciate working with you guys. It's awesome. Good working with nice local country boys. So that's, that's great. Um, guys, if you're watching the video, make sure you hit that like button, be subscribed to the channel, put a comment on there. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.